So guys, do you have flux like I do? Yeah, it kinda sucks, it's not good. And that's why I decided to make a video for you. And I will show you the best Minecraft optimization guide for 2023. So stay tuned and follow all my steps to get to this. You see how smooth it is? And I will show you how to do this. So let's get right into this, guys. The first step, guys, is to check if you have available update for Windows. This is very important because if, if your PC is not updated, it may have uh, more lags. So let's check it out. Go to the Start tab and go to the Settings. Here you need to find the Windows update. Click on that, please, and hit Check for updates. And if there is any update, it will show up. And as you can see, you're up to date. So this is good. So next up, we have to create a restore point in case something went wrong because we will change some of the settings in our PC. So go to your PC, right click on this PC and go to properties. And when you are here, type in restore point and create restore point. You can close this and close this and choose your local disk, hit configure and turn on system protection and the max usage should be on 5%. Hit apply, okay. And let's create a restore point. Hit create and name it restore point. Create again and give it a couple of seconds to create the restore point. This is very handy because we will change some of the Windows settings. So in case something messes up, you can go back to the restore point. So it was created successfully. You can close this Windows settings. So first off, go to the settings again and find system, which is this. And then go to the notifications and make sure you have disabled the notifications because it causes lags. So let's now find the multitasking settings and turn off the snap windows please and the title bar window shake as you can see I have already disabled it. So make sure you have these two options turned it off. Right now go back until we find apps. So let's find it and the startup apps. Make sure you turn off every program that is not necessary. So for example, you don't have to enable the Steam to turn on when your PC is turned on or update Discord or whatever. Just make sure the more offs you have here, the better FPS you will get in Minecraft. Okay, now go to the offline maps and make sure this is turned it off and you can also delete all maps so turn it off and if you have any maps i don't have you can delete the maps now let's go to the privacy settings here you want to turn off as much possible options as possible so you can turn these three off and we are slowly coming to an end let's find Xbox game bar and make sure this is off and the last thing we will change is the game mode so find it and turn it on and this is all the gaming settings that you will need for now and let's move on let's continue guys so let's make sure we disable unnecessary services so open the windows search bar and type in a message config and hit open and let's get to the services and hide all Microsoft services and disable all. Then just hit OK and that's it. Let's turn off some unnecessary Windows animations. So again, go to the Windows search bar and type in advanced Windows settings. This is it. Open it up, please, and go to the advanced tab. Here you can see performance, so click on settings and adjust for best performance. And one more thing, let's make sure you have 
enable the show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. You can click apply and OK. Let's get rid of some junk files. So go to the search bar again and type in run and open the run application. When you are here, type in temp and OK. You can delete all of these files because they are unnecessary for us and don't worry, it won't cause any problem to the PC. Now, percent, temp percent. Again, delete all of this. As you can see, 500 megabytes. And these, these files are bad for us. The last is the prefetch. So type in prefetch, enter, continue, and delete all of these files again. Let's do some disk cleanup. So go to your disk PC, right? Click on local disk, show more options, properties. You can close this and, and yes, this is what I wanted. Let's optimize it. So click optimize and it optimize here and wait a second. Yeah, it's done. So we can close this and go back to general details and wait for a bit for this and we can delete the temporary files so downloads recycle bin and you can hit remove files go back and uh, that should be everything because uh, we need the other applications and stuff so let's move on okay guys so that was everything and we have to install optifine 119.4 now if uh, you are watching this video in the future and the 1.20 is out it doesn't matter just install optifine and we'll show you how to do this so download it please and drop it on the desktop next up double click on that please and as you can see it's optifine hd ultra 1.19.4 and hit install Notifying is successfully installed and we can delete this. Go to the Minecraft. Once you get here, you need to make sure you choose the Optifine version and then you just simply hit play. Once we are here, go to the single player and choose your world. Open it up, please. And let's wait a little bit until we are in the game. So I'm here and go to the options, please. Video settings and copy all of my settings so you can have the same settings and have the best FPS. And that should be everything guys. Let's check how much FPS I have right now. Nice, 230. That's really good, right? So I have an additional tip for you guys. If you want to get even more FPS, make sure you download these two files. Just install them and use them. It will be, it will give your PC additional post that you might need. And both of the download things are down in the descriptions for these two amazing tools. So click on the download links, please, and download them and also install them. It will help you so much. So this is everything, guys, for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please like and subscribe and see you soon.